In this unit, we're going to be talking about the circle and learning a whole bunch of new things about the circle. Let's take a look at a circle. So there's one right there on the screen. So this is something that we talked about very early in the beginning of the year. But what is it about this shape that makes it uniquely identifiable as a circle? If I asked you to draw a circle, uh, I know that everybody in the class would draw the same shape. Well, why is it that we're all drawing this shape? What is it that's special about this shape that makes this a circle? Sometimes when I ask students that, they say, well, a circle is something that doesn't have any straight edges in it because, um, you know, we learned circles along with squares and triangles and rectangles and other shapes like that back in nursery school. But then there are other shapes like this, and these don't have any straight edges either. But I think we recognize that that's um, that's more of an egg shape than a circle, and this is a really weird squiggle shape. So neither of these are circles. What is it that makes this a very unique shape that has special features that would make us want to focus in on it? Well, the answer to that question is, what we can tell is we've got this point here in the center of the circle. And if I measure that distance there to that point on the edge, that's about three centimeters. And if I go over to this side, what am I going to find when I measure it to here? It's that same almost three centimeters. No matter where I am in the circle, it's going to be the same distance. All right. Remember, we learned that when we were doing when we were drawing circles with this compass tool. And so the distance between this pointy end and the pencil never changed. And so as long as the pointy end stayed on this center, everywhere the pencil drew was the same distance from the center. OK, so that's what makes a circle a circle. A circle is a shape where every point on the boundary is the same distance from the center. All right. At the same time, let's talk about a few extra vocabulary words while we're here. There are some special lines we could talk about. So an example of that, of a line segment where one end is the center of the circle and the other is on the boundary of the circle, this is called a radius. Sometimes when we're talking about radius, we're talking about this line segment, and we can also use radius to talk about the length of this line segment. So the radius is either a line segment or a number. You can figure it out by context. And what's the word we use for this line segment, which goes from one end of the circle to the other and passes through the center? This is called a diameter. And this is the same idea as the radius. The diameter can either talk about a line segment or it can talk about the length of the line segment. And there's, while we're here, why don't we throw out one extra vocabulary word. If we've got a line segment where both ends are on the boundary of the circle, it could be a diameter, but if it, whether it goes through the center or not, we're gonna call this a chord. All right, so a chord is any line segment where both ends of it are on the boundary of a circle. So the diameter is a special kind of chord that also passes through the center of the circle. All right, so that gives you an idea of, of why circles are important and some basic vocabulary words that go around line segments dealing with, with, with the circle. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at some lines, things that go on forever, and how they have some special vocabulary depending on how they uh, interact with circles.